Good afternoon, YouTube. Got some mail calls here. <clears throat> Sorry about this. I kind of let them get stacked up a little. I thought I had my camera somewhere and it turned up being in the console of my truck. Anyway, found it. Now we'll get back to business. Let's see. First one up, we got a Scott's in Florida. Send me a sticker. Pretty cool too. I like the palm trees on the bottle cap. Neat idea. Thank you very much. Everybody go check out his channel. I'll put links in the description for all three of these. But that's from Scott's in Florida. And I'll put these up on the board when I get finished here. Second one is the Katana 600. The 88 Katana 600. Sorry about that. And he had a picture or a video. Uh, I think it was just last week. Paint, there it is. Yeah, the big dump truck painting that thing. That was a lot of paint going on there anyway and then also today did a fiberglass repair cool channel a lot of neat stuff check him out and again I'll put a link in the description and third but not least is the Carolina man now he has he's normally does a lot of modeling but he hasn't been lately due to health issues but he's got a, a Mustang car that he's been tinkering with. And I believe his son's been helping him with it. So you want to check that out too. Really nice stickers. I like it. I like how they put the Mustang on there too. Sweet. Okay, I'll go put these on the board. And I'll bring you back in a few minutes. There we go. We're up. And also check out all these other fine people. I'll give you a, a quick go through. That's Cutworm. <laughs> Buck's Woodshop. That's my, my wife, actually my grandson gave me that, the AT buddy. Yeah, we all know the jerk. 440, full throttle 440. There's more cutworm. That fella. Ghost Ma, frame off, drive shaft drew. Stow Bolt 50, Vapor Locks Vixen, Midwest Motor Rider 231 Flash, and Mr. Mach 1 2004, and Wally's Place 66. Thanks a lot. One more thing I thought I'd show you before I put this on YouTube. This. It's a little bit overcast today, so we're kind of fortunate there. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, well. And it's only 92. Not too bad. Like I said, it's overcast, so I think that helps a little bit. But thank God for the air conditioning. I wouldn't be able to handle it out here for an eight-hour day. See ya.